I welcome you all viewers wherever you're watching from. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Ocean Amandishe of Christian Walk Ministries. Today I'm coming with a message that I'm calling Groanings to Glory. And this message is targeting Zimbabweans, especially those who are in South Africa. And also this message is going to talk about what is going to happen to Zimbabwe and what is going to happen to South Africa in the future. This message came as a result of me also praying as I was meditating and events that are happening around Zimbabwe and South Africa. We all know what happened a few days ago and I don't want to get into that message because into that, uh, into that area because I know it's a very sensitive area. May he so rest in peace. However, as I was meditating and also praying and saying what is going to happen to the nation of Zimbabwe and the Zimbabwean that are in South Africa, God gave me the scriptures that I want to share with you as a way of encouraging you and as a message of hope and to understand what is happening and the times that are ahead of us. So I'm going to take you through certain scriptures that I'm going to read and I want you to listen very attentively. So after I finish reading these scriptures, and I want you to listen to what I'm going to say. And this is the message that is very prophetic to what is going to happen in future. So I want you to understand uh, the background that I'm going to give you. Because I cannot jump and start to speak about the things that I'm going to speak without giving you, um, um, without giving you the background of the template of the message that I want to speak to you uh, from the scripture in the book of Genesis chapter 42 and 43. The Bible says, when Jacob saw that there was grain in Egypt, Jacob said to his sons, why do you look at one another? And he said, indeed, I have heard that there is grain in Egypt. Go down to that place and buy for us there that we may live and not die. This is uh, chapter 42. I want to go to chapter 43. The Bible says, Now the famine was severe in the land, and it came to pass when they had eaten up uh, the grain which they had brought from Egypt, that their father said to them, Go back, buy us little food. Now, I want you to pay attention to what uh, happened in Genesis, in Exodus chapter in, in Exodus chapter 2, because this is where the war scenario is going to turn, so that you understand this message. The Bible says now, in chapter 2, verse 23, Now it happened in the process of time that the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage, and, and they cried out, and their cry came up to God because the bondage, because of the bondage. So God had their groanings and God remembered his covenant with Abram, with Isaac, and with Jacob, and looked upon the children of Israel and acknowledged them. Now I want us to go to the uh, book to the same uh, book, verse eight, uh, chapter three. So I have come down to deliver out the to deliver out and to bring them from that and to bring them up from that land to a good and large land, to a land flowing milk and honey, to the place of Canaanites, the Hittites, Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Ephetites, and the Jebusites. Now, let me go to verse 10. Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Now, this is the message that was given now to Moses. Verse 9. Let me um, reverse back. Now therefore behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Now I want you to listen very carefully this message, and I want you to give you a background from Genesis chapter 42 and 43. Jacob realized that in Egypt there was corn and they were about to die of hunger. So he sent his ten 
sons to say, you can't just look at one another uh, while we are dying. Go and buy corn. Go and buy grain down there in Egypt. So they went and bought and they survived for a little uh, while. Then that food finished and he sent again his sons in 40, 43, chapter 43 to say, go and buy little food so that you may not die. Now, this message I want uh, you to understand that it happened to the children of Israel. It happened to Jacob and his sons that they realized that in Egypt there was corn. Similarly, this is something that happened to the children of Zimbabwe. They realized that down South Africa, there is corn. So people came to South Africa. They bought food and they are still doing that. They were buying, going back home. And some, they ended up settling in South Africa. So I want you to see something that happened because of the history that was there uh, between Pharaoh and Joseph. Joseph who was the son of Jacob. Because when Jacob was sending his, son, his sons, Joseph, Joseph was already there ahead of his brothers because they sold him and they thought Joseph was dead. Yet Joseph was now a great man, a prime minister who was in charge on the affairs doing administration of the land of Egypt in that foreign land. So God gave him favor to do that. So when his brothers came at last, when everything was now discovered that he, it was his brothers, he ended up calling his father and they stayed in Egypt in the land that was called Goshen. So they enjoyed the hospitality of Egyptians and they were staying nice and good, enjoying themselves. The Bible says that now it happened in the process of time um, that the king of Egypt died. This is the king who had a relationship with Joseph. Joseph, who was the son of Jacob, he died. Now there arose another man, another pharaoh, who had nothing to do with whatever that transpired between Joseph and the first king, his, his, uh, the, the previous king. So he started to mistreat and put the children of Israel in bondage. And he started to use them heavily and they were exploited they were given tasks to do and they were not paid enough they were used in that land and they were told to meet certain targets and because they wanted to stay because there was grain in egypt they managed to uh to 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 persevere and they managed uh to to persevere but it ended up affecting them for they started to groan the pain was so much so they started to cry and that cry god heard them the groanings reached to god god said i have to deliver these people now i want you to understand that the groanings brought glory it was the groanings that caused the children of israel to get into their promised land, which I'm referring as glory. And you need to understand that God did not only uh, head them, he prepared the deliverer. And in this case, I want to speak to the children of Zimbabwe, to the people of Zimbabwe, that when the groanings, when people start to feel the pain, when the groanings are now uh, louder and louder, it means God has already prepared the deliverer. And this is the message that also God wants to remind the children of Zimbabwe and the people of Zimbabwe to continue to have hope that the deliverer was, is already set by God. And for those who are following my message, they understand what I'm saying. So the groanings are going hand in hand with the deliverer, which means God is allowing certain events to take place in the lives of the children of Zimbabwe, in the lives of the people of Zimbabwe, so that they can realize that there is their promised land. And as this happened to the children of Israel, God took them out and they went to their promised land. So this is the message that God was telling me that I need to tell 
the people of Zimbabwe that the people they were enjoying the hospitality of South Africa but now there is emerging of new voices that has nothing to do with the history and whatever happens and transpired between the nations those who understand how the nations were helping each other they don't care about that history they don't mind about that history and this is a new voice it's like this king who um, arose after the previous one the pharaoh this is not to say these people or to say our brothers or south africa is egypt or is pharaoh is suppressing to say but this is a message that i'm delivering using this scripture so that you may see similarities of the things that god wants to do here in the land of zimbabwe and these groanings are growing louder and louder so these are the voices that are being used to stir up the groanings on the people of zimbabwe because it is a time where god has also set the deliverer when the children of israel were groaning god was busy preparing the deliverer if you read from chapter 3 god spoke to to to, to moses as he prepared this him as a deliverer so god has already prepared the deliverer in the land of zimbabwe and god is going to change the things in Zimbabwe. So this is the message that God was giving me to say. Everything has got a time and a season and there's something that God is doing. As much as there's a pain and crying that is taking place all over that is being felt and which is very sad as we are seeing that even um, the lives are being, people are losing some to certain extend some families are losing their uh, beloved ones but it is also a message that god is allowing to get into the people of zimbabwe to say there is a new thing that i'm doing and i'm preparing you to rise up and to see that new thing on that note there's also a message that god um uh, showed me that a, there's a generation, a generation that is going to arise in South Africa. And because there are too many, God said Zambia and Zimbabwe are going to host some of the people that are going to come from the land of South Africa. And this is the message that they must remember the hospitality. Despite whatever happened, they must also remember the hospitality that they were given not in this form of um, hatred but there is always a learning lesson even in, in doing good when God wants to make people learn they will learn when someone do good so it is it's not going to be a time to revenge but it's a time to show the goodness of the Lord the good that they can learn so this is the message that God was putting on my heart that there are events that are happening as groanings that are bathing the glory, especially to the land of Zimbabwe. However, in the future, because of the men, people who are in the, the sons and daughters who are in the land of South Africa, the, the, the sons and daughters of the soil of South Africa, because of the events that I cannot speak now that are going to trigger that some of them are going to look for greener pastures in Zimbabwe and Zambia, maybe in other nations, but Zambia and Zimbabwe, God specifically gave me these two nations. Remember the words, hospitality. They will learn. It is not going to happen today, but this message is going to stay for a long time. And for those who are going to follow up, they will, are going to point that this message was spoken so this is the message that i thought i have to bring to you to attention as i was um, meditating and also looking to hear what god is saying let's continue to pray for zimbabwe let's continue to pray for our nation let's continue to pray for south africa and also let's pray for zambia for god is going to do a new thing and god is going to bring glory zimbabwe should look forward 
instead of looking backward. Zimbabwe should look forward instead of South Africa because God is doing a new thing in the land that he has given Zimbabwe. And the deliverer said, the groanings are being stirred so that they can come out. And the deliverer, as already said in the land of Zimbabwe, are listening to this message to understand the season and the time of these groanings that they are bathing the glory. In all this pain, a child is being born. Zimbabwe is going to be great. God bless Zimbabwe. God bless those who are praying for Zimbabwe. Shalom.